Customizing household names is a very helpful feature of the Nonprofit Success Pack. Let's take a look at how we can create new naming conventions for households. There are three name fields, household name, formal greeting, and informal greeting. Household name is the account name field, which shows up in related lists and on reports. Formal greeting is good to use in the address block of a formal constituent letter or on envelopes. And informal greeting is helpful for knowing how to address a household in a letter or email. Please note, NPSP will automatically update these fields based on the contacts in this household. If you have a situation where you never want one of the household name fields to change, simply uncheck the auto name box below the field. The standard NPSP naming for household name is to use the family's last name or names and append the word household to the end. Since Shaw is a common last name, this naming convention might make it difficult to tell the difference between the different Shaw households. For your organization, this might be a good reason to change your household name format. To customize this, go to NPSP settings. Get to the NPSP settings by selecting the app launcher, then select NPSP settings from the list of objects. In NPSP settings, select people, then households. Though we're only updating the household name format, let's review all of the settings available. The first setting is the automatic household naming checkbox. Check this box to enable automated household naming. To change a naming format of household name, informal or formal greeting, we can select a preset option, create our own custom naming format, or set any of the fields to not have a standard. For the household name option, select the last name and first name household format because we liked to include first names with the household name. As we change our format option, the example below immediately reflects our selection. The formatting for informal and formal greetings look good as is. So let's skip down to the next set of options. Name connector, name overrun, contact overrun count. These three are for when you have more than one person in the household. Name connector is what will be inserted between different names. Name overrun is the word which will be used if you have more contacts in the household who you want included in the naming fields. And contact overrun count sets how many household contacts you want to include in the name. Perhaps instead of writing out the word and, your nonprofit uses an ampersand. Only the first two contacts in the household should be pulled into the naming, and after those two first contacts, you want the word family to appear. To implement this, set the name connector to and, name overrun to family, and contact overrun count to two. We won't review implementing class as part of this video, but we encourage you to review NPSP documentation for more information if you're interested. Save your new settings and once we've made changes to our household format, we will need to refresh all households and bulk data processes in the NPSP settings screen. Make sure you read all of the warnings and click on refresh all household names when ready. And voila! All of your households are now updated with your new standards. To learn more about household naming, check out the NPSP documentation. Thanks for watching!